I'm at Turner's Falls in Greenfield, Massachusetts, and we are about to rescue some baby lampreys. And we do this every year, every fall, yeah. If you're familiar with the ancient jawless fish called a sea lamprey, I'm guessing it might not make your list of favorite animals. It's true that the adults are parasitic and they use their bony teeth to attach to other fishes in the ocean. And they are invasive in places like the Great Lakes and Lake Champlain. But lampreys do belong in some ecosystems, like the Connecticut River and its tributaries. So today I joined an effort to rescue young lampreys who get stranded in the mud each year during the draining of a canal in Massachusetts. Good morning. I'm at Turner's Falls in Greenfield, Massachusetts, and we are about to rescue some baby lampreys, and you're going to learn all about it. Sea lamprey uh, are important to us. It is a native fish. It's a fish that uh, is only parasitic in its anadromous form in the marine environment. So in fresh water, when they come in to spawn, the adults come in the spring of the year, they'll build a nest, and the nests are built in the tributaries where it's rocky, gravelly. They like to move stones that are about fist, fist size with their mouths. They'll, they'll grab them, make a nest, and spawn. They, they'll do that over a couple days. And ecologically, it's very important and valuable to us because they actually free up the gravel. Different shiners and minnows can use those for spawning. The canal uh, was drawn down over uh, the weekend. This is done annually. It's required by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission for canal inspections. And we do this every year, every fall, yeah. We have a really great turnout today. Um, about, you know, 30, 40 um, people showed up. So these are the lampreys we're looking for. Juvenile lampreys, which have the eyes. Is it right there? And larva lamprey, which look like the juveniles, but their eyes haven't come out yet. And so these guys are filter feeders. Um, after they hatch, they will burrow themselves in the sediment and they'll stick out their, their little heads and they'll filter feed. And eventually they transform into what we call uh, transformers, which are the juvenile. And um, that happens after about four or five years. And then they start making their way down to the ocean. And he's already starting to kind of silver up a little bit. So he's got a nice, so that's a transformer. The juvenile transformers were released into the Connecticut River to continue their journey toward the ocean, while the smaller stages of larval lamprey had a special fate in store for them. These are coming to Connecticut with us. We're going to put these in the Eight Mile River. They're going to go above the Molson Fishway. Uh, it's in Lyme, Connecticut. Um, there's a really good stretch of habitat there, but the way the fishway is designed and with the mill race that exists, it's hard for the fish to find the entrance to that fishway. So by putting these fish into the mill race where it's a really good habitat for the juveniles, the idea will be those adults will now have that smell coming out of the fishway. So we've had a good run of lamprey to the base of the dam, but they haven't figured out really how to find that fishway. Um, so we're hoping that this will bring them in also. It's a great habitat for them um, to grow in. So, and we have a video camera at that site, so we'll be able to track the change over time. Um, so we know how many fish came through since 2014. And we'll see if by having these fish in that system, it helps those fish find the entrance of the fish way better. This rescue operation and the study you just heard about are only a few of the many ways that we can help lampreys and other anadromous fish species. For example, the Connecticut River Conservancy works with partner organizations in several states to remove derelict dams that no longer serve any purpose. They also recruit volunteers to remove trash and invasive aquatic plants from the river and its tributaries. Be sure to leave a comment below if you enjoy wildlife and community science content on our channel and would like to see more of it. And check out the description below this video for links to the organizations involved in the lamprey rescue at Turner's Falls. Thanks for watching.